Hey you, are you tired of the same old boring and comprehensible Geometry Dash experience? Uh, not really. Do you ever wish that the weekly demons could be even harder to sight read? What? No, why would I- Have you ever wanted to make recent levels even worse? What the heck are you even trying to- Well, introducing the brand new Geometry Dash Texter Randomizer. This program takes all of the textures in the game and completely shuffles them. Wait, is that the practice mode button in the corner? So you can finally play Geometry Dash the way it definitely wasn't meant to be played. Okay, so basically, I've been pretty bored over the past few days. And what do I do when I'm bored? I write really stupid programs, that's what. So I put together this little program that randomizes all the Geometry Dash textures. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them. It shuffles everything from menu buttons to portals to objects to backgrounds. I mean, even the icons are randomized. I'm quite proud of how it turned out, but at the same time, there's just something so uncomfortable about playing the game while all these familiar textures are in places where they definitely shouldn't be. You can download the program for yourself with the link in the description, but as of right now it only works on Windows. So in this video, I'm going to try to play Geometry Dash normally while everything is out of place. But before we get to that, here's a more in-depth explanation of how the randomizer actually works. Could we get some nerdy music, please? She's in love with the concept, as if we're all just how she imagined. What? No, literally anything but that. Yeah, I can work with this. Most of Geometry Dash's textures are stored in sprite sheets, which look like this. Each of these sprite sheets are accompanied by a .plist file, which contains the name and location of every single sprite. For example, let's have a look at the play button in GJ Game Sheet 3. By reading the first part of the text direct property, we can find that the sprite is located at X672 and Y1696. The second half tells us that the sprite size is 418 by 418 pixels. Here's the thing. If we were to change the name of the sprite to, say, the editor button, the game would now think that the sprite at that position is, well, the editor button. And you can quickly see this by opening the game. So what my program essentially does is take the names of every single sprite in the .plist file and rearrange them. However, it also takes note of the size of the object so that the textures will always be swapped with one that's a similar size. Some sprites like icons and glows have multiple parts to them, so I also coded some extra exceptions to make sure that they're always matched up correctly. Finally, the game also has a few textures that don't use sprite sheets, but those can easily be randomized by just shuffling the file names. So now that we know how the randomizer works, let's see just how cursed it manages to make Geometry Dash. Alright, so I just used the randomizer before recording, which means that it generated a brand new pack which I haven't seen before. And right off the bat, I think you can notice that things ain't right. I'm not even sure what half of this is supposed to be. The X button in the corner is just a corner. <laughs> and the icon kit is now the practice mode button. Uh, I've been given this weird icon. The whole list of icons have been shuffled and the colors are just barely visible. Why is- what is the mod- the moderator button is spiders. These are the death effects, I think. You can, you can see how crazy this gets. The word ice shards has been replaced with the word build. <laughs> Every single time I use this program, it's just something different. If we go over to the shop, you will... Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell happened to the shopkeeper? <laughs> He's selling some pretty good icons though. He's selling the meltdown one. He's selling the mushroom icon. Some pretty good stuff. He's selling partitions, Icon! <laughs> I didn't know it was so hard to get! Uh, and also, now the currency is apparently down arrows. If we go over to the settings menu, all the buttons are now in this nice shade of pink. And the actual options, uh, the checkboxes are now X's and the like button. <laughs> if we go over to the editor... Oh god, everything is just shuffled. I don't even remember what these buttons are supposed to be. Although I think Gauntlets is in the right place. Is this Gauntlets? Yeah, this is definitely Gauntlets, although I don't think this is the Fire Gauntlet. And I'm pretty sure I have the Ice Gauntlet unlocked. What the? <laughs> Why is it download symbols? If we head on over to the Vault, uh, things are fairly similar here. What about... The treasure room. The chests are different, that's about it. If we go to the shop. Oh my 
my god, Scratch is just as cursed, and what about Potbor? <laughs> it's just... Uh... Oh, it's my icon! I, I need to get that right away. Can I find my ship? I already bought my ship! Nice! Let me just equip that real quick. I wonder what icon this actually is. I guess I'll check later. It's actually nice. Most of my icons are here. They're just in the wrong spots. I tend to pick icons based on how good they look, not how good of an achievement they are. I think all my icons are here. That's nice. Alright, so let's try out some levels with this mess. Stereo Madness is rated help. <laughs> I feel that. Polargeist is just a circle. Base after base is normal. Fair enough. Jumper and Time Machine are just locked. X-Step is a plus. And, and the demon levels are copy. <laughs> nice. I guess it makes sense. So we'll just start things off with Stereo Madness. So the background and the grounds are different. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure what to say about this. These slabs are... I'm not even sure what those are. The spikes are literally just white squares. What? I don't even know what anything is. Everything is shuffled, but at the same time, they're all like real blocks in the game. So it's not just like corrupted. Very nice portal. It's funny, because I'm using my regular icons, but as soon as I turn off the texture pack, I'm probably going to realize that I'm using like the ugliest set ever. I'm trying to think of what like everything is. So the cube portal is like half mini. I don't think that secret coin was right at all. I should probably play the newer levels just because they have a bigger variety of blocks and oh my it's just ridiculous. Let's move on to uh let's try X step. It has a couple more blocks, but not like an overwhelming amount. And what the hell did I just get into? So the ball portal is now kind of the wave. The portals are just totally broken, because they're stored in like two separate images, and you're supposed to mix them together. I wonder what the blue pads are going to be. Oh, they're just yellow ones. That's not going to confuse me at all. I mean, they give off the particles correctly, I, I don't think I can change that. But still, it just looks wrong. This just looks so wrong. Okay, I hate this so much! <laughs> There's a rule in the Geometry Dash editor, and it's never use the rainbow block. I think it's just been completely broken. I don't like it at all. Next level. What does Electroman Adventures look like? More rainbow block. Lovely. Except this time it pulses blue and green. I think the only real way to beat levels with this randomizer is to just memorize the layout of the level, because you can't trust anything that you see. What, what are you even supposed to do th I don't even remember how that part goes. It's probably obvious, but I just can't see it. All right, we're going to do one or two more official levels and then move on to some other stuff. And I think Club Step is a fan favorite. And oh my god, that Club Step monster is going to give me nightmares. Like, what happened? How badly did it get messed up? Oh my god. Look at these Club Step monsters. This is like, this is like the Lost Locked of Club Step. The ship part is not gonna go well at all. Oh my god, it's it's just a mess. So since the spikes are just white squares, I think that means that I should probably try my best to just avoid anything that's white and has four sides. I don't know what the invisible spikes are gonna look like though. Like, there's so much rainbow block, it's kind of disgusting. Also, the yellow and blue jump pads being swapped is totally messing with my brain. Oh, how do you even do this? What What is and isn't a spike? Good progress other than that. Okay, forget I said anything. <laughs> Finally, let's have a look at the most recent and most detailed level of them all, Finger Dash. And I better get used to it, because this is what most of the featured levels are going to look like. Can I understand what's going on? Kinda? I just have to follow the parts that glow? Or just rely on muscle memory? What the f- <laughs> What was that? I don't even have a word to describe how crazy this is. I just went through a robot portal. 
and now I'm the spider. But I think that's to be expected at this point. There's a floating keyhole there for no reason. And I totally forgot that was a robot portal because <laughs> I'm dumb. So, tell you what, let's try some demon levels because I think that's what everybody wants to see. The nightmare kind of sucks. Hmm, I think Death Moon's gonna be a good one to start. I don't have the song downloaded, but now I do. It's been like years since I- Hold up, hold up, stop, go back, go back. Why is there a follow player Y trigger there? Is, is that the speed portal? I think that might be the speed portal. It's been like forever since I played this level, so it, so sorry if I'm terrible. I think the last time I touched it was like two years ago. I wish there was like a pattern I could follow here, but I don't even remember the original level, so I don't know what can and can't kill me. I'm just like trying not to run into everything. I... I, I just can't. <laughs> nope! Next... Next level we'll play is... Uh, let's try Supersonic. It's rated NA, so it can't possibly be that hard. Uh, now it's rated Door. I've played a little bit of this level, not like that far. This wave part is just sketchy, but you can kind of understand what's going on. I like how the name at the start is just like Moon Runes now. So for the wave part, I can just touch anything that isn't white. Fair enough. And whatever is coming ahead, that is most certainly going to be the death of me. Let's find out. Yeah, I I don't think that's happening, dog. It, it looks like a recent level. I mean, I can try, but it's just blindly jumping. Hey, I made it far. It, it bounced some trophies on my screen, so I'm not that terrible. Let's try practice mode. So a lot like Death Moon, this is a level that I haven't actually played since like 1.9, so I don't know it too well. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get past this though, although you can kind of see the saw blades if you look carefully. So, how would I do this? Up, up, down, 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 down. Can you go through that? Alright, definitely making progress here. Am I even going the right way? I think you go down there. This is just a maze. I'm not sure what saw blades do and don't kill you here. Hold up, I, 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 need, a, I need a stop and look at a guide for this. So, go down. Then up. Then you fall there. Then you stay fairly straight and end down. I think I got it, but I probably don't. I don't know, it didn't really make it any easier. Okay, so that gravity portal is a troll. Even though it looks like a teleport portal. There you just go up. I think you stay down here. Nope. Oh, a little more. Oh, we're free! We are free. Oh my god. That is just brutal. I don't think I'm getting any further though. Like, what? <laughs> How are you supposed to play any level with this pack? Decode seems like it could be pretty fun, so I suppose we'll try that next. But first I want to spice things up, so let's shuffle the textures again. Now isn't that just beautiful? We now click every play to delete levels. <laughs> Too soon. Let's see how it goes. Oh no, my icons changed again. So this part is just pure nightmare fuel. Although, I think I have it. I wanna see if I could at least get to the uh, second cube. Good, good, bad. This is so weird. I hate my wave too and I can't even see what blocks you can touch there. Now one thing I do want to try is levels that heavily revolve on visuals, and by that I mean the game levels. In other words, we're gonna see what happens when you try to play Master Game, but all the textures- OH MY GOD! I, I see part of the touch trigger. The penguins look like they're dead! This is a creepy pasta. Now, I don't know about you, but this looks totally correct. I don't see 
anything wrong here. It's not like I'm playing mastergame.exe or anything. Welcome to Master Game. This is... Uh... It looks like a dungeon. <laughs> it's so weird how different it looks. I think those were spikes, if I remember enough about the level. This is so creepy. <laughs> I mean, even though it's like... Corrupted now. This will always be probably one of the most innovative Geometry Dash levels, and uh... What is going on in the corner? This level is just falling apart. Everyone just looks like they're dead! <laughs> the controls are actually pretty smooth for only two buttons. I think we go... This way. Oh look, we can even see the secret because it's not covered up correctly. It's down here, I think? Yes. I gotta say, it's quite the blizzard going on. <laughs> I don't think the snow is supposed to be that strong. I can't even tell what direction I'm pointing in. Oh, what? Am, am I taking damage? Whoops. <laughs> I can still see the background, though. So, if we click on map packs, we can play the daily level, which is rated settings icon. There's a game center button next to it. And I'm not even sure what new is. Oh, it's leaderboards and yikes. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Could be neat. I mean, I don't even know how this- Are those- the Was that the word rotate? <laughs> I don't know how this level looks normally, so I'm just going in completely blind. That's probably not a good idea. I actually don't see a way to progress in this. You can kind of make out the blocks you're supposed to stand on, but like... It blends in too much with the background. Is that like... Is that a spike? Is that a platform? I, I see you go up here. Okay, so that was actually just a decoration, not even a spike. Somehow I'm surviving. <laughs> I don't even want to know what I just saw there. Alright, here's an idea. Let's see just how bad recent levels become when all the textures are completely shuffled. Uh, let's play Rage Out. What could possibly go wrong there? Are those spikes? <laughs> the spikes are right triangles now, that's pretty funny. I wonder what all of this actually is. I might have to go back and play the level without the texture pack just to see. Oh, is it like an edited version of Dry Out? I think it's just like a copied version of Dry Out. But it's, like, edited to make you rage. That is just weird. This one's called Kinetic Dragon. Could be neat, who knows. I, I don't like what I'm seeing here, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even sure what I'm... That, that's an orb! <laughs> I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I'm not sure what those are. I think they're spikes, considering they just killed me. What if this is actually like a super decorated level, but the texture pack just makes it terrible? Who knows? I don't know about this one, though. So this is a triple spike. And these are just spikes. Fairly straightforward. What portal is that? That's a UFO portal! Okay, so this is UFO. I'm not sure if these walls will kill me or not, but I'm gonna be careful either way. Okay. <laughs> nope! <laughs> well, let's pretend that never happened, and how about we just try using the editor? We can make a fun little level. And then we can switch back to the normal game and see how it looks. Okay, so I found the default block. We'll just start with a little bit of this. What button? How do I delete? Okay, this is the edit button. This is delete. I haven't actually used much Steam Editor, so I don't know, know many of the hotkeys. Do we have any actual decent looking spikes to work with? I guess we can just... Okay, that's not particularly pretty. How about saw blades? Okay, so the saw blades stayed. Again, it's only paired with, uh... Objects that are a similar size. Oh, here's a... Kind of... A spike. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. I really like the uh, edit menu. You just have this random assortment of textures. 
the mod button is here. Does that mean that... Wait, what does it do? Oh, it just moves it down. I thought it would actually give me mod. Alright, I hope you guys are ready for the greatest disgusting level ever. Hold on, what background should we use? Uh, let's use insane demon background with door as ground. Alright, let's do it. Okay, wait. I think we have some minor issues on our hands here. The default block is you go through it, and these are actually slopes. Those are spikes. Uh, and the editor button is just the play button. Let's go back and fix this. Although, to fit the theme of the level, we'll make the helper blocks invisible. Now, which one is the alpha trigger? Could we get lucky? Is this the alpha trigger? That is the pickup trigger. This is the tog- Whoa, the toggle trigger is actually the toggle trigger. The animate trigger? Yes, the animate trigger is alpha. Alright, I fixed it up. Let's see how it looks. Hopefully it's beatable now. Oh wait, how are you even supposed to get past this? Okay, now it should be beatable. Okay, this did not turn out how I, ex how I expected it to. This is just weird. Nice level. 10 out of 10. Alright, let's see how it looks without the texture pack now. Is it feature worthy? You can kind of understand what's going on. Uh, wait, that black orb was literally just... The black orb I tried to place turned out to just be a slope. Okay, so... These blocks are just weird, and that was actually a user coin that I placed. Also, my icon set was actually this. Doesn't look half bad, but not my ideal icon choice. So, I think that's gonna be it for this silly little video. If you want to try the, uh, program out for yourself, the link is in the description. I don't know, maybe you can make some videos with this hack. It'd be interesting to see how other people use it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, drop a subscribe, do all that stuff. And, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to charge your toothbrush. Later, nerds!